Hello everyone, and welcome to Noodle Journey, your destination for detailed and informative reviews and unboxings of the Instant Noodle universe. And in this video, I'm going to show you a small variety of the noodles that you can get on a website that you may have never heard of before, JapaneseSnacksRepublic.com. Before I open this up, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more unboxings or reviews of the products I've got inside here. So the last unboxing I did was for Zen Pop's final ramen subscription box, and I mentioned in that video that there are places out there where you can order Japanese exclusive noodles to your doorstep. And this site here, Japanese Snacks Republic, is one of the best of those sites, and I wanted to bring it to your attention with this video if you're unfamiliar with it. Like, if you watch an unboxing video of some noodles only available in Japan, whether it was that Zen Pop video, or something else I've done, or something by the Ramen Raider, or one of the many content creators doing unboxings on Instagram or TikTok, if something looks good out of one of those Japanese boxes, and the time to order that box has long passed, you should go to Japanese Snacks Republic because there's a very good chance they'll have the noodle you're looking for, and they ship worldwide. Some noodle products sold in Japan are only available for a limited time, so check the Japanese Snacks Republic site immediately and frequently to see if something you want is in stock or is getting restocked. Let me open this box up and you can see a sampling of the huge amount of noodles you can buy from them. Check it out, there is a lot of cool stuff in here. All but one item is from Nissan. I got lots of cup noodles I've been dying to try, some that are new and some that are mainstays in Japan, uh, with a couple other things I wanted to check off my ramen bucket list. Let's go through this. Let's start here with Nissan Cup Noodle Cheese Curry. Here in the US, we get cup noodle curry made by Nissan's American factory, but they have yet to grace us with cheese curry. Well, I love the curry cup noodle, and I will not be denied my cheese, damn it. I've been dying to try this for a couple years now, and I finally sucked it up and bought it. Another cup noodle flavor that I feel would sell like hotcakes over here in the USA is this chili tomato flavor. There is a severe lack of tomato flavored instant noodles in the US nowadays, and I don't understand why. This would fill in that tomato niche, plus spicy noodles are everyone's favorite thing now. There's literally no reason this flavor shouldn't exist here. But since I'm tired of playing wait and see with Nissan America, I bought this one from Japan. Uh, the big variety here was only 14 cents more than its normal sized counterpart. So why not? I've got a big appetite. All right, check out this trio. These are the main reason I ordered from Japanese Snacks Republic when I did, and I'm gonna put these very high up in my review pile for a mega review really soon. These are brand new from Nissan Japan. They just came out in late July, I think. This is a trio of French-inspired cup noodles. We've got bouillabaisse with sea bream and scallops, chicken and mushroom potage, which they're calling chicken with supreme sauce, and a lobster bisque. Now I have passed on buying a lot of limited time cup noodles, but I was not about to let these slip away from me. I'm gonna review these as soon as I can, but if any of these appeal to you right now before I can get a review out, buy them, because I'm pretty sure they're limited edition, like 75% sure. And if that's the case, then they are going to disappear eventually. This is another crazy variety from Nissan. Even though it doesn't resemble the other products in the product line, this is part of their Rao product line. So a couple months back, I reviewed Nissan's absolutely god-awful Campfire S'mores flavor. And in that video, I complained that we in the US got that horrible crime against food while Japan got a blowfish shio ramen. And guess what? This is that blowfish shio ramen. This is a salt and yuzu broth that comes with a seasoning oil that is supposed to make it taste like grilled blowfish, which is also called fugu or puffer fish. Like, you know, that Simpsons episode, Master, we need your skilled hands. My skilled hands are busy. Yeah, that's fugu. And that 33-year-old episode made me want to try this. I can't wait to get to this. I don't have the slightest clue what fugu tastes like, or if I'll even like it. But after how bad the s'mores flavor was, I really needed to see what Japan got that exact same week. 
I think this one might also be limited edition, but I'm not 100% certain. Next from Nissan is a collaboration with the ramen shop Afuri. Afuri is renowned for its yuzu shio broth made from chicken and seafood, and this is supposed to be something of a replica of that in instant form, complete with a ton of premium toppings, which you see pictured here on the cover. Now this is the last variety in this box from Nissan, and this is the only one of the six bagged varieties of their Rao products that I've had a problem finding from an American retailer. It's been actually something of a white whale for me. This is their Champon flavor. I actually ordered this last summer from Zen Plus, and it got destroyed by US Customs. That whole story is in episode 138 if you want to hear it. But that's all in the past now. I finally have this. This is a rich and creamy pork and seafood flavored soup, and combine that with the noodles from Nissan's Rao product line that I know are already fantastic. I have a feeling this is going to be awesome. And finally, I couldn't order a box of noodles from Japan and not grab something from my favorite company, Marutai. This is their shijimi clam and soy sauce ramen. They claim that this is fortified with the equivalent of 450 clams worth of ornithine and arginine, or arginine, I don't know how to pronounce that, uh, which are amino acids, along with a blend of 11 different vitamins. So this is kind of sold as something meant to promote gut health and good metabolism in addition to the fact that it is clam and soy sauce flavored, which sounds great to me already. I always review Marutai products around Christmas time, so look for the review of this in December, along with the other few varieties that I've picked up over the last year. All right, so now that you've seen a sampling of what you can order right now on Japanese Snacks Republic, let me talk about price and shipping. It only took eight days from the time I ordered all of this to the day I received it from Japan. That is nice and fast for international shipping. Shipping cost is included in everything they sell. But here's the one downside. Ordering noodles directly from Japan isn't cheap. All the cup noodles were about $6 each. The Afori bowls were seven. That's a big markup compared to how much these cost in Japan or compared to the average cost of American cup noodles and bowls. On the other hand, the Champon pack was $11 and the Marutai pack was $5 which is not far off from what imported Rao and Maritai costs from American retailers. So all this is to say that if there's something from Japan that you want, you have to be willing to pay the asking price. Some of it seems a little more reasonable than others, given the volume of product that you get in a single pack. I knew going into this that there was just no other way I was ever getting my hands on most of these flavors, these three especially, and so the price was worth it to me. And if it's worth it to you too, I highly recommend checking out Japanese Snacks Republic. Their service was great, and now I've got a substantial amount of stuff to add to my review pile. I do still plan on showcasing noodle subscription boxes in the near future once I get that all worked out, but if you want to put together your own box of goodies from Japan, this is a great way to do it. So with this unboxing at an end, I wish you happy shopping with Japanese Snacks Republic if you choose to do so. I'll have these French cup noodles reviewed soon, and hopefully I will see you then here on Noodle Journey. Mm -hmm.